Yeah, if I if I had to go back and pick like a a definite highlight, um, I think the submission over CB Dalloway at UFC 100 would probably be um, one that I'd have to put at the top of the list simply because of the magnitude of the event. Uh, I was lucky enough to win a bonus on that show, and that was the record up until then. So I got a hundred thousand dollar bonus on top of uh, my pay, which was pretty measly. So uh, it was a very memorable night for me. And people always have the impression that uh, UFC fighters make huge amounts of money no matter where they are mm -hmm. on the card, but they don't understand that some of that goes to management and yeah. coaching. Uh, can you give us some type of idea of what? like a lower card fighter. I'm not saying you're a lower card mm -hmm. fighter, but just like one of the lower card fighters could make as compared to the upper card fighters. That yeah. Obviously there's probably a huge difference. Yeah, there, there's a big difference and it doesn't necessarily uh, depend on your status or, or how many wins you have. Um, sometimes guys will get bigger contracts coming off of one big win and you know a few losses before that. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a crap shoot um, as far as how the promotion you know, views you. The, the UFC now has, I think they've settled into uh, a situation where their first initial contracts are 10,000 and 10,000. So it's 10,000 a show, 10,000 a win, which, you know, you can make 20,000 if you want to fight, which sounds great. Um, you're probably going to fight maybe tops three times a year on a contract like that. So you can make $60,000, which if you train an entire year and you make $60,000, it starts sounding a little bit you know, uh, less enticing than $20,000 for one fight does. Um, as far as management fees, usually you're looking at 10 or 20% right off the top. So if we're talking 20% of your $10,000 purse, that's $4,000 uh, right off the bat. The UFC will fly out one corner person and yourself to an event. So God forbid you have to fight on an overseas event, you may have to purchase an extra plane ticket uh, for $1,000, $2,000 for a corner man. Uh, if you're fighting overseas and it requires uh, a long time period to adjust, like say people fight in Japan or Australia, you know, you have to fly for an entire day. So you get there, your body's all out of whack. So guys will go early, but the UFC doesn't cover that. They may cover the, the flight transportation out there, but they don't cover the extra hotel costs, that sort of thing. So there's situations where um, in the past, there's been fighters who are in debt before their training camp, you know, go through a fight and win and come out on the other end still without any money you know um, it's very similar to you know boxing in the fact that um, you know there's a lot of money to be made at the top and there's just not as much at the bottom you know uh, the general public thinks that if you're on TV you're making a lot of money and that's just not the case